So in this video, I'm going to show you how I get undone. So how I take all of this makeup off and how I usually get ready to sleep. Okay, so first of all, I brush out my hair and I just use a big, big brush. Okay, so next up, I take off my false eyelashes. Okay, and then I take off the rest of my makeup and I use L'Oreal's Eye and Lip Express Makeup Remover and this removes uh, waterproof and long-lasting makeup and I use a lot of waterproof and long-lasting makeup so I need this and I get some really big cotton pads so I like the big ones um, because I feel like the smaller ones it just takes longer to get your makeup off so I'd rather use the big ones and what I do is I take two at a time, then I shake up my uh, makeup remover. So first I apply my makeup remover to one side and then I apply it to the other. So now the makeup remover will kind of soak through um, both, both cotton pads. See? And then normally I start with my eyes. So first of all I just press it on to get the waterproof makeup remover in there and then I start to slide it off I just use really gentle motions and to get the mascara off I like to wiggle it like this to kind of to kind of get um, in between um, the lashes and all of that and I go underneath and you can see how red my skin actually is uh, without foundation and um, this is not because of the makeup remover it's not because of anything it's just because my skin is naturally that red um, on my face that's just how I look okay so other eyes and then I get my cheeks and my nose and my lips and my chin get my um, forehead and my eyebrows and I use quite a lot of makeup remover but that's uh, how I like to do it because if I only use like a small amount then I find that it drags my skin more so I prefer to have enough makeup remover and that just makes it makes it glide a lot easier and smoother and then I start going upward um, like this of course um, because of course that is how you apply your mascara so um, that's go that's gonna be a lot of mascara in there and uh, I get my makeup remover in my eye so for me it's really important that I use a makeup remover that does not irritate my eyes or else this, this would, would really hurt but um, I love the L'Oreal makeup remover it's so soft and gentle and it removes all my makeup and I never have any issues with it I go upwards again like this and you can see how much I get off like that and this is also great if you have um, eyeliner on your upper waterline and I also go over my ears because I do have makeup on my ears as well <laughs> and then of course I go down my neck because I'm also wearing makeup on my neck so um, I use about uh, four to eight pads depending on how much makeup I'm wearing so now I have all my um, makeup off so I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna use this to clean up around my eyes. So then I take a nutter cotton pad and I take my cleanser and I use a La Roche Posay's Tolerain um, cleanser and this is for sensitive skin and it's the kind of cleanser that you don't have to wash off. 
and I have been using this cleanser for over a year now and this is just my favorite cleanser. So next I use an eye cream and I use this one which is from my local beauty supply store and I used to use the Garnier um, roll, roll on eye cream uh, but it seems like they have discontinued it I don't know if you can get it in other countries, but um, I think they've discontinued it in Denmark. So I'm just using this one from my local beauty supply store. And to me it's really important to use an eye cream because my eyes are sensitive. So I can't use my regular moisturizer around my eyes. And you want another cream around your eyes because your eye area is really delicate. So I just take a little bit with my ring finger. and. Add it onto my other ring, fi ring finger and then I just glide it on and I start underneath my eyes and then I work up above my eyes and I take it out here as well and the other eye and I change between a stippling kind of motion and a gliding type of motion. Okay, so next up I apply some uh, lip balm and I use this one and I have no idea how you pronounce this. Oysterin maybe? Um, Aquaphor. And it's basically a really thick cream um, and it's good for cracked skin. And I've been using this instead of like a lip balm during the winter because my lips have been so dry. Just going to apply that. And by now, I will brush my teeth with my uh, toothbrush. I have a, a purple one, and um, normally I use Colgate. That's my favorite. And then I'm going to apply an acne cream. And this is one I got um, from my doctor. And I don't really think it works. But my mom and my uh, dermatologist keeps on telling me that I just need to keep on applying this. Um, so I'm going to apply this. So I apply this on my acne right here and right here and I don't really apply it to my t-zone. Um, I have tried having like a blemish or something on my t-zone and applying this to it but um, that made my skin really dry and itchy so I just keep it away from there and only apply it over here. So now we are at the moisturizer. And I use the complementary moisturizer to my cleanser. So it is the Roche Posay's Tolerant um, Moisturizer. And I use this all over my face and neck. So that is my whole routine that I do to get undone. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.